Imagine going three full days without a single bite of food. No snacks, no fruits, no tea, no coffee. Just plain water. Sounds crazy, right? It's a challenge that pushes the mind, the body and the spirit to their absolute limits. And that's exactly what I decided to do. Three days, only water. But before I share my experience, let me give you a very important warning. What I am about to share is my personal journey. This is not medical advice. If you are planning to try something extreme like this, do it only under proper medical guidance. I am not responsible for any risks you take. Friends, extreme fasting is not for beginners and it is definitely not for everyone. Now, why am I even talking about this? Because what I experienced in those three days completely changed the way I look at my body, my mind and even life itself. Friends, I also want to share something personal with you. This was not my first attempt at fasting. I had tried long hours of fasting before but never for full three days. Living in a family makes it even more challenging. Their love, care and constant reminders to eat made it difficult to stick to my plan. But I explained the health benefits to them and told them I wanted to share this experience with you, my YouTube viewers. Somehow they understood and I was able to go through it. You see, in 2016, a Japanese scientist named Yoshinori Osumi actually won the Nobel Prize in Medical for discovering a process called autophagy. In simple terms, autophagy means self-eating. It's a survival mechanism where your body starts cleaning itself, recycling old damaged cells and creating fresh healthier cells. It's like a deep internal detox not from outside products, not from expensive supplements, but from within. And hand in hand with autophagy, another process begins called ketosis. This is when your body deprived of glucose switches to burning fat for fuel. Instead of sugar, your liver breaks down fat into ketones, a cleaner, more stable energy source for the brain and body. Ketosis is what makes long fasting possible and it's also why many people feel mental clarity during it. And here is the real reason why nobody dares to tell you this truth. Because fasting is free. No company makes money if you stop eating for three days. There is nothing to sell, nothing to promote. That's why it's not advertised. But make no mistakes. It's one of the most powerful things you can ever experience. So today, I'm going to take you with me through my raw, unfiltered journey of 72 hours without food. The struggles, the shocking revelations, the signs and the transformation that I never imagined was possible. The first day started with excitement and a bit of nervousness. I thought this is going to be easy. I have skipped meals before. How hard can it be? I knew my mind was capable of handling challenges. Friends, as an experienced meditator, I was confident I could observe the waves of hunger rather than be controlled by them. At about 6.30 in the morning, I drank water and started my day. Morning was smooth and I kept myself busy trying to distract my mind. But by around 12.30 in the afternoon, reality hit. Every smell in the kitchen, even the plain smell of rice felt overwhelming. I could feel my mouth watering. Physically, I felt tingly in my stomach. Mentally, I felt some restlessness and lack of focus. Every small sound someone walking utensils clanging seemed sharper almost annoying science explains this in the first 12 to 24 hours your body burns through glycogen the stored sugar in your liver and muscles once that supply runs out 
your body sends a strong hunger signals a survival mechanism to force you to eat even though my body was alert to danger my mind started to panic thoughts like maybe just a little snack won't hurt kept appearing i had to tell myself no wait observe this is temporary by about six in the evening i felt waves of hunger rising and falling i noticed something fascinating the waves were intense for a few minutes then they passed leaving a strange calm behind it was as if my body was testing me asking do you control your mind or do cravings control you i drank water slowly feeling it fill my stomach giving brief relief emotionally i was a mix of pride and discomfort pride because i was holding on and discomfort because my body was shouting for food friends at around 10 30 at night lying in bed i felt my heart beat stronger my body lighter than usual my mind was restless but at the same time i noticed the first whispers of clarity a calm beneath the chaos of hunger i realized hunger is mostly habit my body was used to receiving food at certain times not because it desperately needed it day one ended with a sense of accomplishment and anticipation unaware of the deeper changes about to come in the next two days the second day was the hardest if day one was about fighting the hunger day two was about fighting myself i woke up feeling weak my legs felt heavy like i was carrying invisible weights i sat on the edge of my bed staring at the floor thinking why am i doing this my head was foggy my stomach still growling and even breathing felt heavier than usual at about noon around the 36 hour mark ketosis officially began i could feel it subtly at first my hunger pangs were still there but instead of desperation a quiet energy started spreading throughout my body my hands and feet tingled slightly my mind felt awake in a strange way and my thoughts became sharper i remember thinking i don't feel weak anymore i actually feel focused at the same time autophagy quietly started its work inside me my body was like a factory switching into cleaning mode old damaged cells were being recycled and my immune system was quietly getting stronger physically i felt light mentally i felt alert in a calm steady way completely different from the jittery energy i usually get after caffeine or sugar by about 5 30 in the evening it was not smooth my brain is still threw temptations at me i saw vivid mental images of food almost like hallucinations my mind whispered give up eat something i had to remind myself this is temporary my body knows what it's doing as hours passed hunger waves came and went i felt dizzy once when i stood too quickly and my mouth was dry even though i kept drinking water but between those waves there was a calm i had never experienced my senses were sharper the sunlight looked brighter the air felt fresher even simple sounds seemed clearer by about 10 at night i realized something incredible my body had adapted hunger was not controlling me anymore my thoughts were calm my energy felt steady not frantic it was as if my body had found a hidden reservoir of energy and strength that night i slept deeply i felt a gentle warmth throughout my body like it was repairing itself while i rested the third day was a revelation i expected unbearable weakness but instead i woke up light not just physically but in my mind and spirit too hunger was almost gone 
my body had fully switched to ketones for energy. I felt steady energy flowing in every muscle. My brain was clear and focused. I remember sitting quietly and thinking, this is amazing. I feel alive in a different way. At about 1 in the afternoon, autophagy was in full swing. My body was repairing cells, cleaning out damaged tissues and even strengthening my immune system. I felt a subtle vibration of life inside me. A sense that my body was becoming healthier than it had been in years. Spiritually, it was powerful. Sitting in silence, sipping water, I felt a space open inside me. Free from the constant chatter about food, cravings and habits. Old emotions surfaced. Memories, small regrets, even childhood feelings I had long ignored. Instead of feeling heavy, I felt compassion. I forgave myself silently for all the times I had overindulged or neglected my body. Friends, by about 6.30 in the evening, mentally I noticed a clarity I had never known. Thoughts that were usually scattered now felt organized. My focus was calm, deep and steady. I could sit for long stretches just observing my breath, my thoughts and the world outside without distraction. It was a strange, beautiful stillness. And at about 8.30 in the evening, when I finally broke the fast with warm vegetable soup, the taste was overwhelming. Every bite felt like a celebration. My senses were heightened, my gratitude immense. Food had never felt this meaningful. Friends, by the end of day three, I felt transformed. Physically stronger, mentally clearer, emotionally calmer and spiritually lighter. The three days had pushed my limits, but they had also shown me the incredible strength, intelligence and adaptability of my body and mind. Looking back, I realized just how powerful this experience was. Hunger, I discovered, is mostly mental. It comes in waves, rising and falling, and if you can ride it, it eventually passes. Ketosis revealed itself as a hidden superpower. Once my body switched to burning fat, my energy became steady. My mind sharp and cravings simply disappeared. At the same time, autophagy quietly did its work, acting like my body's custodian, clearing out damaged cells, slowing aging and strengthening immunity in a way no pill could ever match. Not just this, I also felt something deeper. Clarity that comes in emptiness. When the constant cycle of eating and digesting is paused, the mind and spirit awaken in ways I had never experienced before. I saw how we are slaves to food without even realizing it. Breaking free even for just three days showed me how little we truly need. Friends, fasting became a reset button bringing renewal not just physically but mentally and spiritually too in ways no product no supplement and no therapy could ever achieve so here is the truth no one dares tell you fasting works it is powerful it heals but because it's free because there is no profit the world won't advertise it to you so, am I saying you, should you go three days without food? No, it's not for everyone. It needs preparation, guidance and safety. But what I am saying is, don't underestimate the intelligence of your body. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes emptiness is the greatest nourishment. For me, those three days were a journey through fire, hunger, weakness, ketosis, autophagy, clarity, and transformation. And I came out the other side, not just lighter in body, but lighter in soul. My dear friends, if you ever decide to walk this path, do it carefully. 
do it wisely but remember there is a truth inside you that only silence only emptiness can reveal and that is the truth no one dares to tell you thank you for watching